Welcome to Qigong Foundations Part 2. In this routine, we'll be opening and stretching the body through a dynamic form of stretching known as Dao Yin. This is how we stretch in Qigong. It's a flexibility practice based in movement rather than static holds. And it helps the body to reshape itself in a way that allows movement, mobility, structure, and energy. And it's very good for eliminating pain and promoting circulation of our vital energy. If you're new to this channel, or you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button. We come out with fresh content like this weekly. So make sure you get a noti getting notified. My name is Nick Lawfrey. We're going to start with our feet shoulder width. We'll start with an exercise where we're going to press our thumbs into our sacrum. We have some great pressure points there to open up the energy into the low back. You're going to press those thumbs in as you push your hips forward and release that pressure as you hinge your hips back. It's like you're squatting back into a chair and then pushing those hips forward, you lean back. Press in with the thumbs as the hips go forward, activating those pressure points. And then we'll bring the hands over the head, around and forward, crossing over the face, out to the sides and forward. The palms face up, imagining like you're holding teacups in the hands. This is a great shoulder mobility exercise as we continue to open the hips. And then we reverse, crossing over the face, coming back by the hips, going out, over the face as the hips go forward, past the hips as the hips go back. This one might take a few times to get. Bring it around and press your palms down and out to the sides. We call this spreading the feathers. Tilt your head to one side and just nod your head slowly over one shoulder. Feeling a stretch go from the palm of the hand all the way up to the side of the neck. We move through that stretch. Roll your head over to the other side. Do a few slow nods of the head over the other shoulder. You can inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you roll forward. And then we'll release, shake it out. Next one, take your hands on your hips and start to circle the hips. So we'll start this practice again with some silk reeling, just like we did in part one. These are great exercises to open the joints. Get us warmed up for our deeper stretches. Go the other direction with the hips. Back to the center, now holding a tray of teacups. Send that off to one side, and down to the corner, over to the other side, and then up to the corner. Keeping the hands miming like they're holding this tray, and you're moving it in a figure eight pattern in front of you. So over the head, and then down past the hips. Over the head, and down past the hips. And the hips are continuously circling here. And go the other direction. Moving in a figure eight pattern. If it's hard for your coordination, you might try touching the thumbs together. Notice here my thumbs are pointing towards each other the whole time. It can sometimes help to just touch them to keep track of them. Come back to the center. Now touch your fingers and thumbs all together. We call this the crane's beak. Curl the wrist and press the back of the hands out to the sides. And again, we'll lean the head to one side and start to slowly nod over the shoulder. This should pull the stretch up more up the back of the arm, but again towards the side of the neck. We move that stretch through the neck back and forth and over to the other side. A couple deep breaths as we nod back and forth. Shake it out. 
take a nice wide stance. We call this horse riding stance. Start to shift your weight left and right. Turn left and right. This is a variation of knocking on the door of life we did in part one. This time with a wide stance and a weight shift, building some heat in the legs, some strength. And again, waking up our vital energy in the internal organs, especially the kidneys and adrenal glands at the mid-back. Giving yourself a knock on those low to mid-back muscles. Front hand slapping the belly and waist. Back to the center. Reach both hands up. There's a nice stretch called the elephant. Fold forward. Roll up. Reach up. Keep your legs nice and straight here with the toes pointed forward as you come down. Finding a little hamstring stretch and then rolling your way up by pushing the hips forward. Stretching our way down, exhaling, inhale, rolling our way up. Stretch your way down, exhale, inhale, roll your way up. And come down one last time and hold the stretch. Now that those muscles are warmed up, take a couple deep breaths down here. You're going to place your hands or your fingers on the floor underneath your chest. Use a book on the ground if you need to. Lift the opposite arm up, then bring it down and switch, raising the arm, twisting the spine, looking towards that hand as it raises, and bringing it back down, repeating a few times, slowly on each side. Inhale to twist. Exhale through the center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. And we're going to hold on the side that you're turning towards. Bend that knee until you feel a little stretch on the inner hamstring or groin of the opposite leg. So we're bending into one knee, keeping the other leg straight. Then we'll come to the other side. Same thing, the side we're turning towards. Bend the knee on that side. Keep the other leg straight. Sink down for a little stretch on the inner groin. You can think of this as totally optional. Feel free to just hold that centered position with both legs straight if this is too hard for you at first. Point both toes forward. Come back to the center for that forward fold. Just hold for a breath or two. And then we're going to roll up. Good. Turn. To your left, I'll mirror you. We'll find a bow and arrow stance. Arch back and twist to your left. And then bring your chest down towards your left thigh. Sweep through the center. Bring your chest over your right thigh as your feet turn to the right. Lift up. And then turn your head right. Chest down towards the right thigh. Through the center. Over the left thigh. Then lifting up, arching back, turning your head left. Let's do this with breath. This is meant to stretch the hip flexor. Exhale down. Inhale up into that stretch. Tuck the tailbone if you need more stretch on the front of that hip. Exhale down. And then coming back up. Bring your feet back in under the shoulders. And bring your chi down. Take an in-breath as we lift the hands up. Exhale as we press down. Now lifting one knee, squeezing the knee into the chest. Doesn't matter which side here. Hold for a moment and then press that foot out. Press the palms out. Then bring the heel down and press towards the foot. Keep the legs straight here. The toes flex towards you. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you pull back towards your face. All the weight should be in the back leg here. Exhale, press down. This is called the monk ties his shoes. Inhale, pull back. And then one last one. We'll come down and hold, either holding your toes if you can reach, or perhaps just your shin or your thigh. Coming up. 
Grab your other knee, squeeze it into the chest, press the knee into the palms, and then open up, hold for a moment, and set that heel down, stay back weighted, press towards your foot like you're reaching for your shoelaces, then pull back to the chest like you're pulling those shoelaces. Exhaling as we reach, inhaling as we pull. Just going in and out of that stretch. Hydrating the tissues. Moving some blood in and out of the muscle and tendon. And then again, we'll hold. Good. Bring it back up. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, press down. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, press down. So on, we're going to bring our feet close together and standing on one leg, start to swing, swinging the leg, pointing the toes as they go back, flexing the toes towards your face as they come forward. You can use your arms as a counter swing or hold onto a wall or chair. It's so great for working the balance and opening up the hamstring, the quad, the hip flexors very gently. Moving some nice circulation through the hip joint. And then we're going to come back and hold the top of the foot, looking for a nice quad stretch. Again, you can hold on to something if you need to, or even use a belt or a tie or a yoga strap to hold your foot if you can't reach it. Think of driving that knee down and tucking the tailbone under. You need more stretch. And we'll release, shake it out. And we'll do the other side. I'm just turning so you can see. If you're able to balance, you can counter swing your arms. If you need a little help, grab a chair or a wall. But again, the toes flex as they go forward, point as they go back, lengthening alternatively the front and back channels of the legs. Grab the top of the foot with your hand or with some sort of strap, pressing out against the imaginary wall if you can balance, or a real wall if you need to. Take a couple deep breaths down towards the front of that thigh and hip, lengthening the quads here, and then release. Making lots of room in our body for chi and fluids to flow and move. This next one is called the dragon stretches its tail. We're going to look at our palms and then press away at shoulder height, turning the head away from the hands. As you press, feel for a stretch down that arm that's moving away from the shoulder. The hand that's coming across the chest is just there for the motion and awareness. It's not looking to stretch. It's just looking for that stretch down that one arm, reaching out from the shoulder, bringing that stretch up to the neck as you turn the chin as far away as you can. Then we'll hold that stretch so you're trying to get the chin over the shoulder. Keep pressing through the palm and spreading the fingers. Then we're going to drop, shake it out. We'll do it on the other side, looking at the palm. Pressing away as we turn the head. Relax, look at the palm. Then press and turn. You can do this with breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, look at the palm. Exhale, press. And again, we'll hold the stretch. Feel like the chin and the palm are trying to get away from each other. Nice one to open up the flow of energy through the neck and shoulders, which is very helpful for overthinking, headaches, anything where our chi is stuck in our head. Now the body is nice and open. Let's shake it. We have nice relaxed muscles from all that stretching, so feel those relaxed muscles bouncing as you shake. 
Feel the power come up from the ground and the feet and the lower legs and everything else in the body just open and relaxed, including the neck and jaw, so your head nods. Moving the lymphatic fluid to detox the whole body, shaking out the patterns of stress that are held at our muscles as tension. Scan through your body, notice where you can release, and let it out with a sigh. Pause, feel your body. Get into our Qigong stance, feet are shoulder width, toes are pointed forward. We're going to lift the hands up to the chest and then slowly press down, exhaling. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, pressing down. Now all the breath through the nose. Inhales and exhales. Raising and lowering the chi. Calming the heart, nourishing the body. And then we'll lift all the way up, spiraling the palms to the sky, pressing overhead, and then out to the sides on our exhale. Coming all the way back down, and then inhale, drawing up again. Spiral the palms, look up to the sky, and then slow exhale as we come out and down. Moving the chi now on the inside and the outside of the body. Harmonizing our energy, harmonizing our breath. Breathing long and slow through the nose. And then back to pressing down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. It's very good to settle the heart, settle stress, anxiety. Float your hands out to the side, inhaling, and exhale, pull down the center. Call this pulling down the sky or pulling down the heavens. Inhale as you float up. Exhale, use your hands to guide your awareness through the body from head to toe, doing a body scan. Up, exhale, scanning head, neck, chest, belly, pelvis, legs, feet, earth. We'll bring our feet together, fold the hands over the lower abdomen, the dantian. Allow your body to rock and sway like bamboo in the wind. Or perhaps out here a very flexible cactus. Just allow that chi, that life energy to circulate through you as you continuously relax your muscles. Breathe naturally through your nose and just be aware of the body. Body, breath. Stepping out, circle the belly. Storing that chi in this place we call the Dantian, the field where we plant the seed of long life. This lower abdominal region, this is where we want our breath to move. That relaxed, stoic breathing. It's also where we want our chi to store. So center in there, just below the navel. Pause, breathe. 
that seat of awareness in the lower abdomen. And take a deep inhale and release with a sigh. Hope you enjoyed that practice. If you'd like to get the bonus content that goes with this course, you can get it for free on my website, nickloffrey.com. Link below in the description. Put this together into a little e-course for you with some more explanatory materials as well as a longer bonus routine that brings all four of these routines together at the end. In that course, you'll also get a discount on my Chi Dojo membership where I teach live classes weekly. You can join me live online. Of course, if you're ready to go even deeper, you can join me in my teacher training and immersion program. It's a 12-week online program that teaches you to teach Qigong, but also just takes your practice a lot deeper, gives you a lot more theoretical understanding of the practice, better alignment, really good movement principles, as well as teaching you a lot of Qigong forms and exercises to build your toolbox and repertoire as either a teacher or just practitioner of Qigong. We also just post on YouTube here about once a week typically, so again, make sure you're subscribed. You might even hit that notification bell and you'll see lots of this high quality nature adventure Qigong and related routines coming out here. And you can stay in tune with that and make sure you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your day or evening.